Jesus said, You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to the whole house. Then he goes on to tell us the point. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Well, it's October, but I'm already thinking about Christmas. I'll tell you how that happened. I received a wonderful notice in the Seeds for the Parish, which our denomination puts out, and in it, it says, holiday shopping can change lives. And it talks about being able to make gifts so that others will be able to provide for themselves. It's the Heifer Project, and I suspect that there are more opportunities than just that one. But that's the one um, that is being offered here. And I thought about the gift of Jesus, this simple little ceramic creche with candles for the four Sundays in Advent remind me that the gift of Jesus Christ was a gift of life, rich and full here and now, in eternity forever. And I'm thinking about my grandchildren. I'm thinking about some of my friends. And I'm not sure they need another thing. I'm thinking they might just be excited about the possibility of buying chicks for a farmer in Venezuela, or a cow for a tribesman in Tanzania, a cow that could give milk, could give birth to a calf, chicks that will grow up to be chickens to lay eggs and provide food for the table, to give the gift of life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I suspect I'll get them something. We'll wrap it up. That this year, I'm going to include an envelope with money that they can designate to choose what to give to whom as part of the Heifer Project. And I'd like to encourage you to consider doing the same thing. Let your good works shine before others that they may give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Thank you for watching Insight. You can view the previous episode and please subscribe to our channel by clicking the link below.